So you're gonna lie down on your back. As I said, arms over the head, interlace your fingers. So I'm just gonna stay upright just for another couple of seconds and just continue to maybe let some people in. <laughs> and push your hands over to one side, stretch it out. And then push your hands over to the opposite side, stretching it out. Nice, big, deep breaths. Pull that air into your lungs. Inhaling and exhaling out through your nose. Come back to center. Take your arms and stretch them away from you. And as you pull them and stretch them away from you, I want you to snuggle your shoulders and your shoulder blades into the ground. So you're lying on your backs snuggling your shoulder blades and your shoulders into the ground. Palms are facing up. You're stretched out through your legs. Let's take a couple of turns of our head. And you're breathing deeply. So you're lying on your back. I'm just gonna stay upright for maybe another 30 more seconds. So you're going nice and slow and then come back to center. And now I want you to turn your palms to face down. It's always interesting trying to keep your arms level. I know you guys have your arms on the ground, but mine are floating in the air. And I know I always kind of naturally hold one up, like the tension in the arms. Anyways, I digress. Um, you're stretching, stretching, stretching through your fingers. Relax your shoulders down again. Relax your spine, your back into the ground, sort of snuggle everything into the mat. Take another big breath in and exhale out. And then this time, you could again turn your head from side to side. Or if you'd prefer to open up your mouth nice and wide and hinge your jaw around, move your jaw around so that you're stretching and taking out any tension from your skull up into your ears maybe down into your neck. So you choose, but you're, you're lengthening, lengthening, lengthening through the arms, stretching. And it's okay if you find that, you know, one hand doesn't turn flat and the other one does, like if there's differences in the arms, right? We have tightness, we have past injuries. There's different reasons why that would be the case. So take another big breath, whatever you're doing, and you can start to bring yourself, bring your arms back alongside your body. And let's move on to the legs. We're gonna bring our knees into our chest, hugging your knees in. So take some breaths, rock from side to side if that feels good for you. Maybe pull your legs a little wider apart to get into your low back a bit more, but again, take it easy, see how you're feeling this morning. So this is, as always, a all levels class. 45 minutes in length. We're gonna move around and stretch it out, but we're gonna get intense at different points and bring it back down. You can always um, take your own positions, just lie on your back if you need a rest or come into child's pose. Just take breath as you need, take water as you need. And uh, I'll try and give lots of options for everybody. And then we're gonna bring our legs together and Stretch both of your beautiful legs up in the air and you can start to roll around through your ankles, squeeze and release your toes. Always one of my favorite ways to start. Continuing doing this, I want you to get lots of stretch in the backs of the legs. You guys are gonna stay doing this. Maybe you wanna give the backs of the legs a little bit of a massage, that would be nice. Let's take three more breaths. You are doing whatever feels good right now to just open up. Three more breaths. And we're gonna to begin to start to bring the legs down to the ground. I want you to stretch them out again. Let's take another lengthening stretch with our arms over the head. This time, grab onto your left wrist. So we did a little bit of lateral stretching right off the bat when we had our fingers interlaced, but now you're grabbing onto a wrist and you're pulling over to one side. 
you can, so if you're pulling over to the right side, so you're grabbing onto your left wrist, pulling over to the right side, take your left ankle and cross it over. And now you're gonna to start to curve your body and you're curving in the shape of a banana. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's come back to center, uncross the ankles, switch and grab your right wrist. And you can start to pull over to the opposite side, to the left side. So just getting into that upper body, pull and stretch. And then you're gonna cross your ankle. your body also. Uh, right leg, maybe your hip, and we'll come back to center. And bring your feet flat to the ground, bring your feet to the outside edges of the mat and start to drop your knees from side to side. I want you guys to stay here. I feel like my hair pods have kicked out. I'm going to just check here. You guys are doing windshield wiper knees. Nope, it looks like they're still going. Okay, good. <laughs> you guys are still doing your windshield wiper knees, dropping from side to side. If you want to stretch the arms away from your body, go for it. We're going to do two more in total. So one more either side. And then let's start to get moving a little bit more. We're going to do some things to warm up our core. Always the favorite, I think, right? You love doing the core work. Absolutely. Let's bring our legs straight up. <clears throat> Push up through your heels. So your feet are flexed. You're connecting your back into the ground. We're going to start to drop the right leg. Let it hover. Take a big breath. Bring the leg back up. And now we're going to do that to the left leg. Drop the left leg. Let it hover. So you're choosing the point that you want it to hover up, up at and then bring it back up. Okay, so we're gonna do this a little more rhythmically. So drop the right leg, lift back up. Drop the left leg, lift back up. Let's do that again. Drop the right leg, lift back up. Drop the left leg <clears throat> and lift back up. Keep your back pressing into the ground. I want you to continue at this pace. Keep your abdominal muscles pulled in your feet are flexed, so you're continuing at this pace. I want you to finish up whichever leg you're on, come back up to the top. So feet are still flexed, so have that energy in the legs. We're going to take our hands behind our head and lift our head and shoulders up. So you're staring right at the ceiling, you're keeping your core pulled in. Elbows are open nice and wide. If this hurts your neck or it doesn't agree with you, then absolutely bring your head down to the ground. So we're gonna hang out here. I want you to rest your head in your hands to some degree. Obviously there's work happening here, but you're giving your neck some support. So we're gonna drop the right leg, let it hover wherever you want it to be, lift back up. Drop the left leg, let it hover lift back up we'll do that again so remember we're going at this nice steady pace you're pressing your back into the ground you're keeping your feet flexed you're not rushing if you need to rest at any time absolutely you're trying to lift up a little bit higher for those of you lifting up your head and shoulders maybe lift up a little fraction higher if you can we'll do one more time either leg so we're getting some upper abdominals and lower abdominal work here. And bring your head and shoulders down and you can bend your knees, bring your knees into your chest, maybe rock from side to side just a little tiny bit. If you wanna just um, check out how your neck is feeling, maybe just do a couple gentle turns from side to side just to take at any tension. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more. Bring your legs back up in the air, flexing the feet. So this time we're gonna drop both legs. 
if that doesn't work for you, if you want to go back to, to single leg, that is absolutely fine. So we're going to lower down the legs, find the point that you want to work at, pause, and lift back up. And, and when I say find the point you want to work at, it's wherever you want to let your legs hover. Lower down is harder, obviously. So we're going to do this nice and slow. Keep pressing your back into the ground and lift back up. This should feel like more work. It's harder to do both legs for sure. You're really keeping your core pulled in, pressing your back into the ground. If this does not agree with you, then don't do it. Go back to single leg. And we're gonna do one more time. So nice and strong and lift your legs back up. Okay, so you probably know what's next. This time we're gonna take our hands behind the head if you want, lifting up your head and shoulders. Legs are up. Okay, so remember you can always go to single leg, you can always bring the head down. So here we go, lowering down, Find the point you wanna work at, keep everything strong, lift back up. Remember to breathe, <laughs> we'll do that again. Lower down and lift back up. We'll go nice and slow, lower down, although I know I'm speeding up. <laughs> lift back up. One more, if you're lifting up your head and shoulders, maybe lift up one more inch, a little higher. Lowering down, super strong, lift back up, bring your head down, bring your knees in. Um, actually pull your knees wider apart this time so you can just get into your hips and also uh, smooth out your back a little bit. You may also wanna turn your head from side to side. Okay, starting off with a little bit of abdominals, just a little bit. And we'll bring our legs down onto the ground, bring your arms over your head, Take a nice big stretch through your body. So we're stretching out those muscles that were contracted and we'll do one more thing. Bring your arms back, bend your left knee in, bring your leg across the body. Take a nice big twist, big stretch, big twist. Just releasing any tightness in your back. And then we'll come back to center, switch to the opposite leg, right leg in, cross the body, nice big twist. And come all the way back. And however you would like to bring yourself up and forward, come all the way up and forward onto your hands and your knees. And let's set up in tabletop position. We're gonna just do some cat and cows here, not only to wake up the body, but of course to stretch out the area that we just worked on. The back, the belly, the legs. <laughs> nice big breath. My yoga elf has fallen off the block. Let me try and put him back on. My dog has been removed from the situation. She's having a time out right now <laughs> in a nice way, but she cannot be in the same room as the yoga elf because she wants to eat it. Let's take a couple more breaths. In our cat and cow, maybe you wanna to start to push your hips from side to side, twisting. Relax your neck, let your jaw be nice and heavy and soft. You're not clenching your teeth. Let's give ourselves just one more breath. And then from here, we'll come down into wide knees child's pose. So remember, this is a great place to be at any time. Bend your hips back, stretch into your low back. You're gonna stretch out the low back that was doing all of that good work a few moments ago when we were lifting the legs and lowering them. Reach forward, push your hands into the ground, plug your hands into the mat so that you're anchoring yourself and you're able to push your hips back even more. Big breath in, big breath out. Okay, you can stay here as long as you'd like or if you wanna start Getting into the legs again, we're going to bring ourselves up into downward facing dog. So start to just walk it out. Continue with the sways that you started maybe a few moments ago when you were in tabletop. 
You have your hands shoulder distance apart. Your fingers are spread nice and wide. Shake out your neck if you want to just continue keeping it nice and juicy and soft. And I'm hoping that you're feeling that energy in your core because we certainly, you know, we did, we did work to warm up those muscles. So let's take advantage of that energy and we'll kind of bring it into a posture here. Let's come up high on the tiptoes, push your tailbone up towards the ceiling, draw your abdominal muscles in, and then sink down through your heels any amount. And we'll do that again. Inhale, lifting up, push your tailbone up even higher, drawing your abdominal muscles in, and then sink your heels down any amount. Now, we're gonna play around with this a little bit more. So coming up nice and high again, push the tailbone up. Now this time, I want you to keep stay on your tiptoes, but you're gonna bend your knees and straighten them back. Bend your knees, straighten them back. So you can feel the abdominal muscles, the back muscles, you can feel that area of the body really working here. Of course, you feel other parts of the body working. I know that too. So one more time after this one. So now one more time. <laughs> and then come back into downward facing dog, regular downward facing dog. Let's float forward to a high plank. I know your arms are getting a lot of work right now. So we'll take a rest in a second. You can always bring your knees down to the ground and hold your, your plank in it with the knee support. That's okay but really pull the shoulders away from the ears. Engage your core, press back through your heels, engage your thighs. You're nice and strong here, you're like a board. <laughs> You've got great strong back muscles, your spine is flexible, this is what we wanna do, this will help us when we stand. And let's hold here for five, four, three, two, one. You can bring your knees down and we're gonna lower down in a tricep push-up or keep your knees lifted and lower yourself down. But we'll finally come off of the hands. And I'd like you to take your hands, interlace them behind your back, take a big stretch. Don't worry about lifting up through your chest. Just stretch through the arms and the shoulders and the wrists. If you feel like you wanna peel up through the chest as well, then do that. But keep your neck nice and long. But I'm, I'm, I'm wanting you to really focus on the arms. Maybe even push your hands to one side, push your hands to the other side. Okay, and then we'll just bring our hands back beside our low ribs, curl our toes under, and bring yourself back into child's pose. You can make fists with your hands, give your wrists some rolls. Stay here as long as you need to, not only to just recharge your body, but also to you know support your wrists. If it's feeling like too much, then just come down into child's pose. But if you want some more work, we're gonna come back up into downward facing dog. So let's continue to be aware of our core. Take your right leg, reach it up in the air, bend the knee open. Now, as you're bending open, I want you to keep your shoulders squared off to the top edge of the mat, but you're twisting through the, your waist. Your waist is twisting. You're trying to stack your right uh, hip over your left. And if you're really feeling kind of agile and coordinated, start to roll your right ankle. Do some circles in the air with your right ankle. And if this still feels good, keep your knee closed and now draw some circles in the air with your right knee. Don't worry if this seems ridiculously hard, don't do it. <laughs> You'll get there, it's okay. And we'll do a circle in the opposite direction because you gotta always do clockwise and counterclockwise. All right. So we still have this right leg up in the air, but guess what? We're gonna take the foot and step it up between our hands. Come down on your left knee. Arms floating up. Finally, off of the wrists again. And you know what, let's even help it a bit more. Let's grab onto our left wrist, pull to the right. Kind of stretching out your wrist a little bit, come back to center, grab onto your right wrist, pull to the left. Keep your knee pointing forward all the time. We'll come back to center, bring your hands to your heart. And now let's twist towards the bent knee, so towards the right. You can stay more upright and twist. You can try to tuck your elbow on the outside of the thigh. And then some of you may even wanna try something like stretch your arms away from the body as you're twisting. Maybe lift yourself up again. 
and see how that feels. So different options. We'll be here for one more breath, getting a nice stretch in the hips. We'll bring our hands back to the heart, come back to center, bring your hands down. Let's give our right leg a little bit of a stretch, point and flex the foot a couple of times. And slide your right leg back. So stay in a tabletop position just for a couple seconds, pushing your hips from side to side. So you can stay here longer or come back up into downward facing dog. We're gonna throw in a little bit of plank pose again. So come forward to a high plank, super strong, holding yourself in this position. Press back through the heels. Engage your glute muscles, engage your thigh muscles. Take a nice big breath. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees down or not and lower yourself down with control to your belly. Once again, we're gonna take our hands, interlace them behind the back. This time, let's actually float up through the chest, but keep your neck long so you're looking down. Let's float up through the legs and then relax back down, bring your hands beside your low ribs, curl your toes under. Once again, press back into child pose. Stay here as long as you want. If not, we're gonna come up into downward dog and mess around a little bit like we did before, but you can always join us in downward dog when you're ready. So from downward facing dog, left leg goes up in the air, bending the knee open. So here you are again, you're squaring your shoulders off, you're twisting through your waist. You're trying to stack your left hip over your right hip. If you're feeling, like I said before, agile, give your ankle some rolls. Oops, I'm touching my pictures on the wall. They might fall off. Oops, we'll be careful about that. Can't blame that on Rosie. <laughs> and keeping your knee joint closed, you can start to draw circles in the air. Nice big circles. Remember, you can be in tabletop or child pose here. You don't have to be up and down or dog. And we'll reverse the circle. Keep your arms nice and strong. Don't let the weight jump into one side. Try to even off your shoulders. All right, one more breath. And step your left foot forward between your hands, coming down on your right knee. And arms floating up. Take a breath. Let's grab onto our right wrist. Pull to the left. Come back to center, grab onto your left wrist, pull to the right, keep your knee pointing forward, try not to let it wobble. And come back to center, bring your hands to your heart. Let's twist to the left towards the bent knee. So again, you can twist upright, <clears throat> you can twist and tuck your elbow. Everybody's drawing the abdominal muscles in no matter what version you're doing, or maybe you want to stretch the arms. And then if you're doing that, maybe you want to try to lift yourself upright again. Just different options. Bring your hands to your heart. Come back to center, bring your hands down, stretch out your left leg. Take a couple of nice breaths here as you lengthen out, maybe point and flex the foot. And then we'll slide the left leg back. Give yourself a nice little shake from side to side. Do some, do some wiggles with your hips. You can stay here or come up into downward facing dog. And let's go for it. Float forward to a high plank. Okay, I'm gonna change the plank this time. From your high plank, and you can bring your knees down or do this with your knees lifted. Let's lower down onto our forearms our forearm plank. Now, the elf, if you recall, on my email, was also doing a plank. I must admit, this elf is very tired, plus, <laughs> I know, I'm trying to do the plank right now. I'm trying to not let you notice that we're doing plank for a longer period of time. I'm just talking about the elf, just trying to distract you, holding here, the yoga elf, doing the plank pose. But the yoga elf got a little bit of the stuffing removed from Rosie. So lost some suppleness in the core. That's all right though. Holding here for one more breath, <laughs> lower yourself down. See, that was just a trick to keep you in the pose longer. Interlace your hands behind your back, peel up through the chest. 
Keep your abdominals engaged. Your neck is long, float up through the legs. Holding here, you can engage your glute muscles as well. And relax back down, bring your hands beside your low ribs, curl your toes under and bring yourself back to downward face, or to child pose, sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna put all that together. We're gonna have a little more fantastical fun with some uh, extra poses thrown in just to get us moving a bit more. So let's come up into downward facing dog when you're ready. We are gonna walk our hands back to our feet so you'll be at the back of the mat. Fold forward, take a nice big stretch in the back of the body. Remember, you can always bend your knees as much as you need to. Release your neck, shake out your shoulders. Maybe you wanna grab the backs of the legs and pull yourself in. Maybe you wanna even grab opposite elbows to just fold forward even more. It's entirely up to you, whatever feels good. Take another big breath. Keep your belly muscles engaged. Okay, from here, we're gonna start to slowly, strong core, keep your belly muscles engaged, slowly roll yourself up, all the way up to standing. Let's take some breaths at the top. You might feel a little residual dizziness. That's okay, just let it pass, that's all right. Okay, so we are standing at the back of the mat, facing forward. We're going to bend our knees, Fingertips resting the ground, arms reaching up. Sink yourself back into chair pose. Make sure you can see your big toes. Keep your core strong and open up to the chest. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands to your heart, bow forward. Lengthen your body into a flat back. You can bring your hands to your shins or fingertips to the ground. Fold yourself forward, hands to the ground, walk yourself up into downward facing dog. And you know to modify into tabletop if this isn't for you. Take your right leg, reach it up in the air, bend the knee open. Pull your knee into your belly, rounding your back knee to nose. Sweep your leg back up in the air. Step your foot up between your hands, coming down on your left knee. Float the arms up. Grab onto your left wrist, pull to the right. Come back to center, grab onto your right wrist, pull to the left. Come back to center, bring your hands to your heart, twist to the right, maybe tucking the elbow. If you want a little bit more, pick up your back knee. And remember the variation, pick different variations if you want, twisting, whatever you wanna do, maybe the back knee is lifted, coming, here, taking one more breath, bring your hands back to center, bring your left knee down as well and stretch out your right leg. Roll forward onto the right foot, join with the left, lengthen into a flat back, folding forward. Arms reach out to the sides, come all the way up with your hands and bring your hands down through your heart. We're gonna bend the knees, fingertips brush the ground, arms reaching up. Bring your hands to your, to your heart and fold forward. We'll step back into a high plank. Lowering yourself down to your belly. Interlace your hands and stretch, lifting up through the chest and the legs. Keep everything nice and strong, belly pulled in. Relax back down, hands beside your low ribs, curl your toes under and press back into child's pose. You can stay here longer or bring yourself up into downward facing dog. We're gonna take four breaths in downward dog. Maybe just walking it out, swaying out your hips, whatever feels good. Joining us in downward facing dog when you're ready. And we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet. Keep your belly muscles engaged. Roll yourself up all the way to standing. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Bending your knees, fingertips brush the ground, arms reaching up, coming into chair pose again. 
pull your knees back. Keep your arms strong, but relax your shoulders, right? It's always tricky. You want to pull the shoulders up by the ears. We'll hold here for three, two, one. Bring your hands to your heart and fold forward. Inhale, lengthening into a flat back. Bring your hands to the ground. Walk yourself up into downward facing dog. As you inhale, bring your left leg up in the air, bend the knee open. Pull your knee into your belly, rounding your back knee to nose. Sweep the leg back up in the air. Step your foot up between your hands, coming down on your right knee, arms floating up. Grab onto your right wrist, pull to the left. Come back to center, grab onto your left wrist, pull to the right. Come back to center, bring your hands to your heart, twist to the left. Take the variation that you want, maybe also picking up the back knee. Remember, different options. <laughs> my arms, I can tell. <laughs> All right, try to keep my arms straight. Take another breath, or even, that's the right word. Bring your hands to your heart, come back to center. Bring your right knee down, we'll stretch out the left leg. Let's roll forward onto the left foot and join with the right. Inhale and lengthen into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Arms reaching out to the sides. Come all the way up and bring your hands down to your heart. Bend your knees. Fingertips brush the ground. Arms reaching up. Hands to the heart, folding forward. <clears throat> Pardon me, stepping back into a high plank. Lowering down. Interlace your hands behind your back, stretch up, lifting up through the uh, chest and the legs. Lower back down, bring your hands beside your low ribs, curl your toes under, press back into child's pose. Okay, so let me check the time. All right, we're good, we're good for time. Let me set up the elf. The elf's now doing, I don't know, the yoga elf is doing something with the block. We are gonna do that again. We're gonna do it faster. If you feel like it's not for you, take a good pose and hang out in there. That's all good. We're gonna do it faster and I'm gonna add in a couple extra pieces. Let's walk our hands, or sorry, bring yourself up into downward facing dog. Now walk your hands back to your feet. Keep your belly muscles nice and strong. Roll yourself up. And you're up at the nice and tall, standing at the back of the mat, facing forward. Okay, bend your knees, coming into chair pose. Super strong core here. Try not to have your butt sticking out. Tuck your tailbone in if you can. So you want to not have a big curve in your back, a, a, a pronounced curve. Holding here, nice big breath. Bring your hands to your heart and fold forward. Lengthening into a flat back. Bring your hands back down. Walk yourself up into downward facing dog. Right leg goes up in the air, bend the knee open. Pull the knee into the belly, rounding the back, knee to nose. Sweep the leg back up in the air. Now step your foot up between your hands. Come down on your left knee, arms floating up. Grab onto your left wrist, pull to the right. Come back to center. Grab onto your right wrist, pull to the left. Come back to center. Bring your hands to your heart and twist. Pick up your back knee if you'd like. Take the variation that you want. Bring your hands back, hands down. Stretch out your right leg. Roll forward onto your right foot. This time, we're gonna step back into a high plank. I want you to lower down on your right forearm, bend your right knee, and roll into a side plank. Your left arm can come up. So my bottom, my right knee is down. If you want, stack your legs and we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Come back into your forearm plank. We're gonna turn the left arm so that it's parallel with the top edge of the mat. Maybe bend your back knee, so your, your left knee, sorry. So your, 
in a side plank on the left side with your left knee bent or have both legs stacked, holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your forearm plank, lower yourself down, interlace the hands behind the back, stretch up, keep the belly muscles engaged, relax back down, bring your hands beside your low ribs, curl your toes under, press back into downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Keep your belly muscles strong. Roll yourself up nice and slow. Take a couple breaths to the top. We've got one more side to go. Feet are together. Bend your knees. Last time of taking our chair pose. Super strong. Engage the thighs. Keep the belly engaged. Try not to stick your butt out. You're trying to draw your tailbone in for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands together and fold forward. Inhale, lengthen into a flat back. Bring your hands to the ground. Walk yourself up into downward facing dog. Take your left leg, reach it up in the air, bend the knee open. Pull your knee into your belly, rounding your back, knee to nose. Sweep the leg back up in the air. Step your foot up between your hands, coming down on your right knee, arms floating up. Grab onto your right wrist, pull to the left. Come back to center, grab onto your left wrist, pull to the right. Come back to center, bring your hands to your heart, twist to the left. Pick up your back knee if you want. Take your variations. Come back with your hands, lowering down, stretch out your legs, your left leg. Roll forward, hands on the ground, step back into a high plank, and then lowering down on a forearm plank, you're going to take your left arm, line it up with the top edge of the mat, roll to your left side. Remember, your left knee can be on the ground, holding here for five, four, three, two, one, come back to your forearm plank. We'll turn to the opposite side, to the right side. Arm is lined up, top edge of the mat, elbow is underneath the shoulder. Your right knee can be on the ground for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, forearm plank. This is it, just like the elf on the shelf. For five, four, three, two, one, or sorry, the yoga elf. Lower yourself down, not the elf on the shelf. Interlace your hands behind your back. Peel up through your chest and float up through the legs. And relax back down. Bring your hands beside your low ribs. Curl your toes under. Press yourself back. Wide knees, child pose. Take lots of breaths. So I want you to just start to allow your breath to slow down. You're going to start cooling down the body. That ended up being a little bit of a tricky, a trickier class. <laughs> In my head, planning it out, I didn't think it would seem that hard. Anyways, take your right arm and thread it underneath the left. If you want, you can take your left arm and drape it behind your back. You're trying to stretch into your shoulder. Feel some nice twist in your back. Again, you're still letting your breath flow down. So we're going to switch sides. Take your left hand underneath the right arm, twisting towards the right. Maybe take the right hand behind your back. As long as you feel that your neck isn't compromised when you bring the arm behind your back. And then release your arms. Bring yourself up and around. So we're going to continue to cool down and relax here. 
I'd like you to take your block or your book and have it close by. Bring yourself onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself just a couple of seconds to just gently roll from side to side, rolling over your spine. Okay, we're gonna bring our feet down to the ground and your feet are hip distance apart. Let's take our book or our block, lift up our hips and we're gonna place the prop underneath our tailbone. So it's the triangular bone at the base of the spine. It's not your low back. It's, it's below, your, below your waist. So I want you to just rest your body in this position. If you're using a block, a block has a little more um, stability. You can always bring it up to the second level, first level, second level, don't do third level. Well, you can do third level, but I'm not advising you to do that right now. <laughs> so I, I always really like just the first level. That, that feels nice to me. And I think if you have a book, that's probably where the book would have you at too. But your choice, listen to your body. I want you to just let your hips and your lower body, just let it relax into this prop. You're letting yourself be supported in this bridge pose. We're gonna do a few things here just to continue to facilitate like cooling down, calming down, just to feeling comfortable. Keep your left leg bent and we're gonna stretch the right leg out. Just notice how that feels. Do you, do you feel some stretch on the top of your right leg? You might. If you feel discomfort in your back, do not do this. Bring your leg back. If you liked how that felt, we're gonna do that on the other side. So stretch your left leg out. So it's just giving a little extra stretch to your hip flexors, right? You might, you might feel it as a significant pull. You might feel it as just a, uh, a minor pull, but there is stuff happening being up and propped up on this block. Okay, we'll bring the leg back. Now, some people like how it feels to bring both legs in at the same time. I am actually not one of those people. I don't like this. I mean, I like it. I can stay here for a little bit, but it doesn't feel relaxing to me. I know there's some people, they like to take like their Shavasana or their rest. They take it like this. They love it. So you decide what works for you. Maybe you want to go back to just having knees bent. Maybe you're doing one leg at a time. Maybe you're not even on the prop because you don't like that. And all these things are okay because we are all different in our body. Everybody's bodies are different. And from day to day, our body is different. So you're in the position that feels the most relaxing for you. We're going to stay here a little bit longer. If you are able to, and you are not feeling like it's too much, Maybe consider bringing your arms away from the body. You can have your palms facing up. Maybe you have your arms bent in at 90 degrees or in maybe a, a little less uh, tight angle than that because you wanna have your hands on the ground, backs of the hands on the ground, or you have something resting on the ground. If your wrists are up, that's okay. So we're just gonna take a few deep breaths here. So you're stretching into your chest, into your heart, if you're still on the block, your hips are elevated. We did lots of twisting and moving around, right? So now your belly organs that had lots of twists and they were being massaged, now they're just sort of falling out of their natural resting places because the hips are elevated. And we'll go back in afterwards, but it's always good to give them that stimulation. We're gonna take five more breaths. If you feel like you wanna close your eyes here, go for it. Just always assess if you are feeling comfortable, if this is serving you. Just because I'm telling you to do this or, or in, um, giving you the option to do this doesn't mean it's the right thing for you. Let's go for one more good big breath, maybe right down into the belly feeling the belly expand and contract. And then we'll pull the arms in closer. We're gonna come off of our props. So make sure if your legs are stretched out, walk your feet in, lift up your hips, take your prop away, bring your spine down to the ground. I would 
recommend maybe stretching out your legs for a minute and just sort of getting used to being in this elongated position. You're now all one level. We're still gonna do just a teeny tiny bit more stretching. Would be like another two minutes. Okay, bring your feet back to being flat on the ground again, except this time we're gonna take the right ankle, cross it over the left thigh, bend your legs towards you. We're gonna take thread the needle. So this is gonna have a dual purpose here. You're gonna allow your low back to get a nice stretch. You're stretching into your hip, into your glute muscle. And then last but not least, if you want, you can also extend your left leg up in the air. So let's take five more breaths. You're being cautious. You're making sure your right foot is flexed. You're protecting your knee. Cooling down, calming down. Definitely, I'm sure you're feeling uh, the heart is not moving and pumping as quickly as it was when you finished your last forearm plank. <laughs> okay, one more breath and we'll release the leg, switch sides, left ankle crosses over the right, bend the legs towards you if it's available. First things first, making sure you're getting your back stretched, getting your left hip stretched, and then if you want to bring the right leg into it, elevate it. I don't know, I'm always into rolling the ankles. Go for it. Keep your feet nice and stretchy. Preventative, uh, movement so that you don't have foot issues. We'll take three more breaths from here. Make them nice and deep. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. You have to feel proud of yourself that you took this time at the beginning of your weekend, the beginning of your Saturday. You took some time to move around, to sweat, to breathe, so be really proud of yourself. You can check that off your list. <laughs> and we'll take the time now to bring your leg back down to the ground, release. Let's bring our feet to the outside edges of the mat. We're gonna do one more um, cycle, let's say six. We'll do six, so three on either side, drops of um, windshield wiper knees. Big, deep breaths. You feel good. I hope you feel good. The yoga elf is very proud of you. I'm gonna have to definitely try and fix it because the stuffing is gone from one part from Rosie chewing it. Anyways, thank you for joining. Let's stretch our legs out. Bring your arms over your head. Big breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let's do that again. Big breath in. Exhaling out, you did it, amazing. Roll to your side, lift yourself up. We are going to bring our hands to our heart. Close your eyes, take one moment of gratitude for something in your world, whatever it may be. I am grateful for my yoga elf and I'm grateful for you guys for joining me. So thank you, thank you. Have a fantastic Saturday, namaste. And if you want a class that's a little bit more relaxing from this, I have a Monday evening, seven to eight o'clock class and a Wednesday, 10 to 11 deep stretch class. And then I have a class that's even harder than this one. It's on Thursdays. Well, maybe not even harder around this, maybe just a little bit more, whatever. Uh, Thursdays, 5.30. Anyways, thank you everybody. Have a great weekend.